Hey guys, today I'm going to unbox and check out the Ulanzi anamorphic lens for smartphones. You can pick this up on Amazon for 60 bucks, or if you're willing to order it from China, you can find it for as low as $34 on eBay. I'll have some links in the description below. So I just got this in the mail today. I ordered it on August 11th, and it arrived August 22nd. So it took 11 days to arrive from Hong Kong. Well, it looks like it got a little beat up in the shipping or from me just ripping open the package there. All right, let's check out the lens here. Ulanzi 1.33x anamorphic lens. A small brand focusing on phone graphy. Didn't quite get that right there. Chinese translation, probably. So Ulanzi looks like it's from Shenzhen, China. Made in China. So what is this thing? Well, it's a lens for your iPhone or other smartphone. Use it to record widescreen cinematic video and images. Anamorphic lenses give you a wide horizontal image and often capture lens flares, which you may have seen in some movies over the last 10 years. So let's open this up. That's not much on the presentation here, just a basic cardboard box. And there should be a few items in here. There should be the lens and a clip. All right, so they give you a small microfiber cleaning cloth. Put that to the side. So here's the lens. Package in a little bag. Okay, this is taped shut. Let me get a little aggressive with that. Now, interestingly enough, this came with a lens cap. I did not know that it included a, len a lens cap for the front and the rear. So that's a nice touch. So this is the rear. This is a 17 millimeter mount. So you could attach this to any smartphone rig or case that has a 17 millimeter mount on it. We'll talk more about that later. And then here's the cap for the front. And that goes over the lens, you can see here. Now this lens will give you a wide aspect ratio and then when you record with it, it'll make everything look scrunched up and then you'll have to do something in post-production called de-squeeze it where you stretch the video back out. Or if you use a special app on your smartphone like Filmic Pro, there's actually a mode you could set in there when you're using this lens so that you don't need to de-squeeze the footage later. So take a look at the sides here now. 1.33x anamorphic lens. And it is marked Ulanzi. I noticed some of them say that on eBay that they are Ulanzi lenses, and then they say they're generic, unbranded. I suspect that all the, the anamorphic lenses for sale on eBay from China are probably just the Ulanzi lens. Um, I can't imagine there's that many companies that are making them. Just looking around the sides here, giving it a once over. Pull this cap off. And there's just this little ring here on the side. Not sure what the ring actually does. And then what else is in the box here? Oh, there's the clip. So this is the clip that uh, will go over uh, most smartphones. And then it has this adjustment on it to, I don't know if you could see that, you tighten that down to get it to grip to the phone. And then the lens will screw in either one, uh, yeah, either the top or bottom or left or right place on this mount. Your other option would be to get a case with a 17 millimeter mount, uh, screw mount on it. And that's what I did. I don't have any real experience with any of these lenses. I'm not a filmmaker or aspiring filmmaker. I just thought it might be fun to try one of these lenses to record some time lapses and other videos on my iPhone and my Pixel phone. I chose the Ulanzi anamorphic lens because it was the least expensive. I bought mine on eBay for 42 bucks. 
There are at least four other companies that make these lenses, but they're way more expensive. Moment Lens sells an anamorphic lens for $150. Moondog Lab sells two different anamorphic lenses that sell for between $150 and $175. Sandmark sells an anamorphic lens for $150. And Bscript sells an anamorphic lens for $175. Note that with the Moment, Moondog, and B-Script, you still need to buy a case, rig, or cage to mount the lens to your phone. I think the Sandmark lens includes a case for your iPhone. I think they only make lenses for iPhones. Now, since I'm not investing in a lens that would help me make any money, these other lenses are far too expensive for me. But for 42 bucks, I figured I'd try out the Ulanzi lens. All right, that's going to be it for this video, and uh, I'll definitely be back with more videos about this lens.